Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to compare YTD sales versus last year sales. I have created a sample application. Let's see the data model. We have order table here. You can consider order or sales and certain dimension tables like product, employee, customer, supplier, and I have also created master calendar based on order date. At the front end, I have created two tables. One is sales by year and another is sales by country. There are two filter pans at the top. One is having all the dimensions like country, category, customer, product, supplier name and employee name. And the second one is having all the fields from master calendar. So that's our order year, order quarter, month, year month, week, weekday and order date. Our objective here is to find out by country what is the YTD sales compared to previous year sales. Let me explain you first by Excel file. Say for a country ABC current year, current year is 2022. So current year sales is say 200 and previous year which is 2021 sales was around 2400 i want to find out what is percentage ytd sales versus last year sales so that means here it will be 200 divided by 2400 so current year sales is 8.33 percent so say for country xyz we have ytd sales as 100 and last year sales was 600 so ytd sales versus last year sales equal to 100 divided by 600 that means we have achieved 16.67 percent compared to last year sales now we are going to implement this one in our click application so first of all i will write an expression here in a kpi and i will say sum of sales and I will give name as a sales here label is sales and then number format is this so this is going to match this total sales now we know that current year it is 2022 so how to get sales of 2022 here so let's see first if statement if order year equal to 2022 then sales and i will do sum of that we can also mention here null so means the app if condition is not matching then it will give you null or you can say zero so now you can see sales of 2022 is 145621 you can match it from here 145621 what will happen when we select order year? Say I will select 2017. So you can see here on the first expression where we have sum of sales, it will give me sales of 2017. But the second expression, it is giving me zero. Because we have explicitly mentioned here that order year equal to 2022, then only give me sales, otherwise make it zero. If statement will not work because whenever we select any filter this changes will affect every single object in click so to overcome this issue we need to use set analysis I will copy this expression here and I will write set expression here set expression is written something like this so you have to mention first curly bracket and inside curly bracket less than sign and greater than sign and between this this less than and greater than sign you need to mention our order year so that is 2022 now when you select any year you can see that the top one which is sum of sales will give you the result of that particular selection second one which is a if statement which will give you zero because we haven't selected right now 2022 
but the bottom one which is using set analysis is now giving the correct result even if we have selected order year so what set analysis is doing is it will predefine order year as 2022 and it will freeze this order year now here so if you select any order year it's not going to reflect and the change will not going to reflect here so now the same we can apply in our application so i will reduce the size here a little bit for this kpi and i will mention here 2022 sales and the same way i will mention sales of 2021 and i will format to number and make it sales 2021 and here i will write I will write sales 2022 okay <clears throat> so now we got our desired result you can see here 145621 is the total matching and 812296 is the total matching for 2021 so now to find out how many percentage we already achieved in 2022 compared to 2021 so we can write here 2022 sum of sales in 2022 divided by sum of sales in 2021 and and I will write here percentage achieved and this is formatted to number and like this so this is how you can find out current year sales or YTD sales versus previous year sales but the question will come here we have predefined order year by static value we know that current year is 2022 and previous year is 2021 but what about next year we have to manually go and change this expression so instead of that is there any way we can write this expression dynamically i mean to say can we predefine order year so that it will consider current year dynamically how to do this one we can use today function so here i will write today function and you can see we are getting today's date and i can find year from that and it will give me today's year let me convert to so we are getting 2022 so how to replace this 2022 here so copy whole expression go to the set analysis and instead of 2022 you have to use dollar sign expansion dollar sign and then round bracket start and end and inside that paste this kpi expression which is year of today don't forget to mention this equal sign now what will happen here anything we have mentioned inside this curly bracket is set modifier so when click will evaluate this expression first it will evaluate anything inside curly bracket that is your set modifier so click what click will do it will try to find out sum of sales but this will be order year equal to it will evaluate this dollar sign expansion so dollar sign expansion will give you result 2022 so you can verify your end result at the bottom so you can see now click engine has now converted your dollar sign expansion to 2022 so now i can use this and paste it here instead of my previous expression and i will still get the same result what about 2021 simply i can write year of today minus one so it will give me 2021 i will copy this expression and similar to 2022 i will change my expression i will add dollar sign expansion here with with round bracket 
start and end and inside out bracket I will write here today minus 1 with equal sign. So now at the bottom you can see click has now evaluated this dollar sign expansion as 2021. So I will get result of sales of 2021 and now I can use the same formula inside my percentage achieved. So I will write here 2022 formula and bottom I will write my 2021 formula. And now you can see that we are still getting the same result. We can also change the expression label dynamically. So here instead of sales 2022, we can write sales year today and instead of sales 2021, we can write here year today and then minus 1. I have put everything inside bracket so that first we will get year 2021 and then it will be concatenated with sales. So you can see that the year 2022 and year 2021 both are coming dynamically. So this is how we can implement set analysis. We will learn more about set analysis in next few videos. Please do subscribe my channel. If you want to deep dive in set analysis, if you want to learn set analysis from very basic to complex level, you can purchase my Udemy course. Its name is Become an Expert of Click Set Analysis. There are 50 plus videos here. Altogether, I have covered many topics of set analysis. Thanks and have a good day.